Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little overalls for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old. They're very easy to make. Now, at the end of the tutorial, I give you the finished measurements, so be sure to check that out. Also, down here in the information box, I'll leave some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger up to 18 months. Okay, so I hope you like them, and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this number three baby yarn. This is the brand that I'm using. Now, you can also use any DK weight yarn. Uh, to show you how to make this little romper, I'm going to use acrylic yarn. If you're making this for summer wear, I'd recommend that you use cotton DK weight yarn or any number three cotton yarn, um, since acrylic yarn tends to be a bit hot. Okay, so here, to begin, uh, we're going to make a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, just wrap your yarn around, hold it right here, open the circle, and insert your hook and grab a loop. And this is how I make the magic circle. Now, if you prefer, you can chain four and join to the first chain. Now here, we're going to chain three, and inside this circle, we're going to make two double crochets, one and two. Now, what I'm going to do is just a, a granny square. So if you know how to make a granny square, then this part here is going to be easy. So we have, including the three chains, I have three double crochets. Now chain two, and back again into the same circle, we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now two chains. Again, three double crochets, one, two, three, two chains, three double crochets, one, two, three. Okay, so now I have four groups of three double crochets, one, two, three, four. Now close this circle here and join, oops, but first chain two, and then join to the third chain here. Now I'm going to be changing color, so I'm going to be cutting my yarn at every row. So here I'm going to cut my yarn, and then just pass your yarn through this last loop. Now with the second color, Make a loop. And insert your, your hook inside any of these chain two spaces. I'm going to insert mine right here. So grab this loop, bring it through the front, and let's see, chain three. One, two, three. Now make two double crochets, one, two, two chains, three double crochets, one, two, three. Now chain one, jump to this, chain two space and make three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Chain one, jump to the next chain two space and do the same thing. Three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Chain one, same thing into this last chain two space, three double crochets, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Now this is the second row. Chain one, and then join to the third chain here with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn. 
and then just pass your yarn through this last loop and then you're going to repeat the another row so to do that with this cream white color you can insert your hook inside any of these chain two spaces I'm going to do it here into this one now chain three one two three and then inside of the space make two double crochets one two two chains three double crochets one two three chain one now right here in the middle we're going to make three double crochets one two three chain one and then inside this chain two space three double crochets two chains three double crochets chain one and then same thing right in the middle three double crochets now this is how you're going to continue just working your granny square um, I have one here ready this is what it looks like I did let's see one two three four five six rows so continue and finish your granny square and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I'm almost done with this fifth row here I chain one and I'm just going to join here uh, by making a slip stitch into this third chain now I'm going to keep going with this white color so I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch into the next double crochet and then a slip stitch inside the next chain one space now if for any reason you started your previous row right in the middle then what you can do is cut your yarn and then just go inside this chain one space here and chain three now inside the same space here I'm going to make a double crochet double crochet two chains two double crochets now chain one and into each one of these spaces we're going to make the following we're going to do a double crochet then a front post double crochet we're going to go down to the row below and into the second double crochet we're going to work a front post double crochet make make sure you pull this loop so that it's at the same level as your double crochet and now into the same stitch here make a double crochet or into the same space so we did a double crochet front post double crochet and then double crochet now chain one then double crochet front post double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet front post double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet front post double crochet double crochet Oops. chain one now inside each one of the corners or into each one of the corners you're just going to do three double crochets two chains three double crochets so it's the same thing and then you're going to chain one and repeat the same thing double crochet front post double crochet double crochet continue like this for this row and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making this sixth row here all I did was just make a slip stitch here into the third chain cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over like this this is where we finish so into this next group of three double crochets with your main color insert your hook into this first double crochet like this bring it this loop through the front chain one and into this same space here make a half double crochet 
Now here we're going to work three half double crochets for each group of three double crochets and then in the middle where we have the chain one space you're going to make one half double crochet. So beginning into the next double crochet make a half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the chain one space one half double crochet and so on. So here just continue and work one half double crochet for each one of the double crochets half double crochet into the chain one space three half double crochets half double crochet into the chain one space three half double crochets half double crochet into the chain one space and then we have the three double crochets so three half double crochets now inside the chain two space of every corner you're going to do a half double crochet chain one half double crochet and then continue undo your three half double crochets and a half double crochet into the chain one space. So continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this row of half double crochets all around. Here what I did was just join to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done. Now this is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top and these are going to be the sides. So we're going to go here inside this chain one space of this corner grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one. Now into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now into the next six half double crochets, make one single crochet. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets turn chain one and here we're going to come back and make single crochets but we're only going to go through the back loop so insert your hook and make a single crochet that's one two three four five six seven single crochets now turn chain one and same thing insert your hook into the back of the first single crochet and make a single crochet and continue until you have seven single crochets and then repeat the same thing now this is going to be the waistband and i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue like this repeating the same thing and i'll meet you at the end of this row Okay, I finished making part of the waistband. Now, I did a total of 54 rows and it's measuring from here, from the beginning up to this last row, it measures about 25 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to join here to this other side. So this is the right side. So we're going to sew this from the wrong side. This is the wrong side. So we're going to go like this. Let me get my yarn out. Now, here we're going to count seven stitches. One, this is the corner stitch. This is the chain one space. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right there, I'm going to insert the hook like this from the back, grab this loop, bring it through the front, and chain one. Now, insert your hook into this same stitch now insert your hook into the first single crochet here and into the the same single crochet back here um half double crochet so back here this is the seventh half double crochet so insert your hook into that stitch grab a loop and make a slip stitch again insert your hook into the second single crochet and into the next half double crochet going down and make a slip stitch again into the third single crochet and into the next half double crochet in the back 
and make a slip stitch. This is how we're going to join here this part. Now my last stitch is going to be here inside this chain one space. So I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining this part here and this is what it looks like. Here at the end, all I did was just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done. And this is what it looks like. So this is the front and here's the back. So here we're going to divide 54 rows, since that's how many rows we have, by two. So that's 27. So we're going to count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27, right here. That's 27. So insert your hook right there, or right here on this side. So we have 27 on this side and 27 on this side. Since I'm going to start on this side, that's why I went here on this other side. So right in the middle, insert your hook, and I'm going to use this um, off-white color for the rest of this little romper. So now grab this loop, bring it through the front, and chain one. Now, right next to it, in this same row right there, insert your hook and make a half double crochet. That's one, we're going to be making one half double crochet for each row. So into the next, make a half double crochet. Into the next row, make a half double crochet. That's three. And into the next, you're going to do an increase. So you're going to make two half double crochets. One and two. Now again, you're going to make one, two, three, four, and do the same thing. So let me show you, that's one half double crochet, that's two, three, and into the fourth, two half double crochets. Now this is all we're going to do, so continue like this. When you come to this part, you're just going to continue with the same sequence. That's why I did half double crochets here, and then you're just going to continue around and finish here at this end. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 105 half double crochets. Now, to finish, we're going to go here on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this first row with 105 half double crochets. Now, if you have less, maybe it's because I did a half double crochet in this part here, and you probably didn't. I did one here because there was a gap, so I decided to, to play around with this area here. So I'm going to tell you how many half double crochets I have between each corner. I have two half double crochets into this space and then two half double crochets into the last chain one space of the corners. I have 37 half double crochets. And then for the rest, for this part here, I have 68 half double crochets for the waistband. Now. Uh, the important thing here is to make sure that you have the same number of stitches unless you're making this for a bigger baby then you're going to have a totally different number so I uh, hope that helps so here with 105 half double crochets on the next row what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and into this same space here which is the first half double crochet make a double crochet chain one two half double two double crochets one and two now skip three half double crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, right here, make another fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, another fan. This is all I'm going to do all around this second row just making these fans separated by three half double crochets so continue and i'll meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did these fans separated by three half double crochets now i have a total of 26 fans for this second row to finish here i have four half double crochets so i'm just going to skip these four and go here where we have the three chains and pinch the third chain and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the second row with 26 fans now for the next row row three make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space now chain three 
and inside this same space make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Here we're just going to make fans again. So jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this for this third row and I'll meet you at the end once again to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row of fans. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to pinch the third chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch. Now at the end of every row, you're going to have 26 fans and now to begin each row from here on, you're just going to make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space. Now here you're going to chain three, make one double crochet, one chain, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do from here on, we're just going to repeat the same row. So continue, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 14th row, so in total I did 14 rows of fans. And it's measuring from this part here of the waistband down to the last row, it's measuring about 20.5 centimeters, which is about 8 inches. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the legs. So to do that, here what I did is I joined here to the side where we have the three chains, did a slip stitch, a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space. In total, we have 26 fans. So what I've done here is I have put a stitch marker after the fan that we just finished. So this is the first fan right here. So right in the middle, I put a, a stitch marker. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And then I put a stitch marker between this stitch marker and this next one. I have two fans in the center. And then the same thing here, I have 11 fans between this stitch marker and this one. So right in the center, all I have is just two fans on this side and two fans on the other side. So now to divide the legs, inside this first fan, you're going to chain three, make a fan again into this first fan. So double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Then we're going to jump to this other side. So you're going to skip your 11 fans and into the 12th fan, which is this one here, you're going to make a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now jump to the next fan, which is the second one here in the center, and do another fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, now we're going to skip 11 fans and into the 12th fan, which is this one here after the stitch marker. Same thing, you're just going to make a fan. And this is how we're going to divide the legs here. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, to finish this part here, you're just going to go to the third chain right here and join with a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn, make sure you leave a pretty long tail, not too long, and pass this yarn through this last loop. Now you're going to, to close this gap, we're going to use this yarn here. So you're going to do slip stitches um, either to this side here or to this side. And then from the inside, you're going to uh, seam this part here uh, with slip stitches, this part here. So that's all you need to do to close this hole that was left there. So our legs here are divided. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go with the same yarn, make a loop, and we're going to go to this first fan right here after the stitch marker. So here, bring this loop through the front, chain three. One, two, three. And inside here, you're just going to make a double crochet and then two more double crochets. So four double crochets inside each one of the fans. That's one, two, three, four. 
Now again, jump to the next one and do the same thing, four double crochets. This is how I'm going to continue until I come to this last fan. So I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other side of this first row. Up to here, I have 11 fans. Now into this next fan, right to the side, we're going to also make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to go right here, right in the center, and do four double crochets. That's two, three, four. Now we have this fan before the stitch marker. Same thing, four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now if we count, we should have 14 fans. So we had 11, 12, 13, 14. Now to finish, we're going to pinch this third chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and a slip stitch in between the second and the third fan, right in the center. Now chain three and make three more double crochets. One, two, three. Again, jump to the next one and right in the center, make four double crochets. That's two, three, four. Jump to the next and do four double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this second row. At the end of the second row, we're also going to have 14 fans. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. I have 14 fans to finish. Just pinch the third chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch in the middle between the second and the third double crochet. Now chain three and make two double crochets. One, two. Jump to the next fan and do three double crochets right in the center. Same thing, jump to the next and right in the center, make three double crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this third row here. All I did was just join to the third chain with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. So now what we're going to do is with this um, light aqua blue color, I'm going to go here into the same stitch where I did the slip stitch. I'm going to grab this loop here bring it through the front and chain one. Now, here into this same stitch, make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next, and so on. Here, we're just going to work one half double crochet for each one of the double crochets, like this. So continue all around, just making half double crochets, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets. Now I have a total of 42 half double crochets. To finish, we're going to go here on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next two rows, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. Now, if you prefer, you can do half double crochets all around, just like we did for the first row. It's going to look a little different, but it's still going to look nice, so it's up to you. So to do the front post and back post half double crochets, you're going to chain one, and this first half double crochet, we're going to work a front post half double crochet. The next one, back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Back post half double crochet front post, half double crochet, and so on. Continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post, half double crochet. When you finish, you're going to join here to the side where we have the chain with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same row. I'll meet you at the end of that second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of two rows of front post and back post half double crochets here at the end. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now, this part here, if you try this on your baby and if, um, and if it seems too tight, what you can do here is 
this row where we did three double crochets, you can do four double crochets instead. So that all three rows that we do, we make them with four double crochets instead. Here, this last row, I did it with three double crochets so that this part here is a bit tighter, but um, I know that not all babies are the same size. So some babies, this part here might be too tight. So that's a quick fix that you can do. Just undo everything and then just do this last row that we did um, with four double crochets. And then in your next row where we do half double crochets, you're going to have more stitches. So this part is going to be a bit loose. So if you're having that problem, that's how you can fix it. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the other. So I'm just going to show you the first row. So we're going to go here to the side. This is where we have the stitch marker. So right here, grab this loop. Let me redo this. Bring it through the front and chain three. One, two, three, and into this same space here, make three double crochets. In this row, we're going to make these fans of four double crochets. Now, we're going to go to this fan right after the stitch marker and same thing, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now, right in the middle right here, you're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, Four, and then here into this fan before the stitch marker same thing four double crochets three and four now jump to the next fan after the stitch marker right here and do four double crochets inside each one of the chain one spaces and this is all we're going to do all around so at the end of this first row we're going to have 14 fans of four double crochets I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 14 fans. Now here, to finish, we're just going to join here to the side with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row. Now from here on, you're going to repeat the same thing we did here. Now I'm thinking of doing this uh, leg here with four double crochets in this last row that we did, just so you can see the difference. Um, perhaps that will help so I'll go ahead and do that next. So here you're just going to continue and finish the next, let's see, one, two, three rows, and then this part here. So to start you off here, make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch in between these two double crochets. Then chain three, and into this same space here, make three double crochets. Jump to the next, right in the middle. Same thing, four double crochets. Continue like this and finish the side, then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this other side here. I did it exactly how we did it here, except for this last row of fans. Here we did three double crochets. On my last row, I did four double crochets. So we did three rows of double crochets and then one half double crochet for each one of the double crochets. Now here I'm going to measure it for you so you can see the difference. This is wider so this here it's measuring about 13 centimeters which is uh, about let's see that's about five inches. Now this side here it's measuring about I don't know 11 centimeters which is about four and a half inches. So there is a big difference and um, it should help if um, your baby's um, legs are a bit wider. Now I'm going to undo this and I'm going to leave it like this. I just wanted to show you the difference in size for that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on one of the straps. I already did one. So what I did here is I started this one here. So I'm going to undo it to show you. So what I did here is I counted two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, 10, 12, 14, and right in the center, I put a stitch marker. Same thing here. I counted 14, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 10, 12, 14. So, and then, and then I did six single crochets. So we're going to do six single crochets here. So I'm going to count. Let's see, I'm going to do one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to insert my hook right there. Grab this loop. 
Now when you make this side, you're going to start from this side towards the left. So here, grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now single crochet into the next row. That's two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to turn, chain one, and we're going to make single crochets beginning on top of the first one, insert your hook through the back loop and make your first single crochet. Same thing into the next until you have six single crochets. That's two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four actually, five, and six. Now turn, chain one, and repeat the same thing. Single crochet, make sure you insert your hook through the back loop, and then continue and repeat the same thing. It's the exact same thing we did here for the waistband. So you're going to continue until you have about 48 rows, which is what I did for this one. And then at the end here, I just tied this wooden button. This button here is it's about one and a half millimeter, which is, let's see, about a half an inch button. So once you have your button, we're going to use these corner here in this granny square as our buttonhole. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so continue and then I'll come back and show you our finished little romper. Okay, I finished making my straps. I did a total of 48 rows and each one is measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about nine and a half inches. Here at the end, I just uh, sewn in my buttons and then I just used this corner as my buttonhole and this is what it looks like. So our baby overalls are done. Now, this is what it looks like from the back. There it is and this is the front. There it is. Okay, so now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the waistband down to the end, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. Now this part here, not around, just the top, it's measuring 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. Uh, this part here, not around, just the top, it's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.75 inches. And the waist, not around, just the top, it's measuring 20.5 centimeters, which is about eight inches. And from the top here down to the center here, it's measuring about 33 centimeters, which is about 13 inches. So based on those measurements, uh, these little overalls are for babies between six and nine months old. Now you can also make them smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you some information on how you can make them smaller between zero and three months or bigger between 12 and 18 months. Now I also used a total of 90 grams of yarn. I used about 60 grams of this um, off-white color and the rest I used about 30 grams. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.